The Galaxy Note 9 is Samsung's latest entry in their line of high-end Note devices. And since we haven't seen a Samsung phone since March, we figured we were due for a teardown. There are really no surprises in opening the Note 9. It opens the exact same way as the Galaxy S9, the Galaxy S9 Plus, the Note 8, and pretty much every other Samsung phone we've taken apart in the past few years. We did find a slight change in the positioning of the fingerprint sensor, where it was once on the right-hand side of the cameras, it's now on the left. Amazing. We've got a mid-frame held in place by a ton of Phillips screws, the top frame comes out with the wireless charging coil attached, and below that, the mid-frame speaker combo also pops right out. It's all remarkably similar to the Note 8. Disconnect some cables, remove the front-facing camera and iris scanner, three screws, and the motherboard lifts right out. On the motherboard, we find the 6GB of Samsung-made LPDDR4X SD RAM, with the Snapdragon 845 layered underneath, and the 128GB of EUFS storage. Taking a look at the cameras we've plugged out, we can see our dual 12 megapixel rear cameras, both of which have optical image stabilization, our 8 megapixel front facing camera, and a tiny iris scanner. Next out is the USB-C connector and the headphone jack. And while the headphone jack is still modular, it's been changed from a standard connector to a press contact connect that is really glued in place. After carefully trying to lift the press contact up and off the case, a slip of our spudger shows us just how delicate the headphone jack cable is. We may have gotten it out, but it's not gonna go back in. We hit the battery with a little adhesive remover, and after letting it soak in a bit, it pries up easily. This is a 3.85 volt, 15.4 watt hour battery, which is a 2.69 watt hour increase from the Note 8's 12.71 watt hour battery. And lastly, we're left with the display, which is a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2960. With our teardown complete, it's time to talk repairability. The Galaxy Note 9 scored a four out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, this Note's components are more modular than ever, thanks to subtle changes to the USB-C hardware, headphone jack, and S Pen Flex. The only screws used are standard Phillips screws. You can replace the battery if you're determined. Two extremely stubborn glue barriers make it unnecessarily difficult. But on the downside, to service any component, you must first painstakingly unglue and later re-glue the glass rear panel. And finally, all too common display repairs require replacing the entire chassis or tediously separating the gluey, cracked glass. 